on holiday and I was just walking along the beach and I was just being reminded of how important agreement frames are so I thought I would share that with you. So agreement frames are basically a way of maintaining rapport with someone whilst, especially in a situation where you actually disagree with them. So um, the agreement frames are three sentence starters. The first one is I agree with you and the second one is I appreciate what you're saying and and the third one is I respect your point of view and now where I've after the word respect or appreciate you can put in whatever makes sense within the sentence so say you were in business and somebody said oh look I don't think we should do that educational program because it's too expensive you might say something like I really appreciate how much you are um, are looking at the finances and that's so important to us and this particular program is going to increase our sales so in the end it's going to be a great investment because we double our sales that's going to be a fantastic investment of our time and money and I know it can do that or it might be say with someone where um, they might be a bit resistant to making a change in something that you've suggested say in coaching you might say something like look I appreciate all the time that you've spent with this and the investment of your time and that's really fantastic and if we just change this little section we'll find that we'll get a better outcome and that's going to really make your life a lot easier and save you a lot of time or you might have um, I agree so I agree that um, we need to be very careful of our finances at the moment and this is going to be great investment so that we can have a better outcome in the long run. So those are the three agreement frames. I agree, I appreciate and I respect. The really important one about agreement is that when you agree with someone they feel like they're right and that's something that people find very important because it gives them certainty in their world if they feel like they're right. So if you can make someone feel like they're right, that's very persuasive for them. And when you put an and on the end, it's just adding to it rather than a but, which dismisses what they've just said. So that's it. I've got a dog approaching me at the moment. So I'm 